gathered here today to discuss this thing called life. <laughs> Do you remember that from Prince? Oh, I miss Prince and his music. Thank God he left us a legacy of music. Okay. Hi everybody, Sherilyn. Welcome to Makeup University. Hey, before we get into today's video, welcome if this is your first time here. And if you're returning, welcome back. So you can see, you know what today is. The Wine Wednesday series began earlier in the summer and I've just been having so much fun with it. I've been keeping it up. But today we are slightly off topic. Normally Wine Wednesday, the parameters are, it has to be $10 or less and from the Walmart. Cause in my little town, that's all we have, the Walmart. Until the Smart and Final moved in and it's uber super nice, lots of produce and a little bit of a wine section. That previous review I had is from the Smart and Finals and I felt like if I was shopping there and I needed to pick up wine, there are choices, but honestly, my local Walmart had more choices. And so that brings me to this. This is called Dearly Beloved. I actually bought this at the Safeway. I was at Safeway ordering a cake for my son's birthday and I was walking down the aisle and I glanced over and I saw this beautiful paint job. You know what? Raise your hand and just admit if you pick a wine based off the label. I know I do. <laughs> so I was walking by. I saw this. It says forever red back to the very earth. So then, of course, I roll it over and I take a look. Dearly Beloved is a 2015 red wine from California. It has a tiny bit of a Grateful Dead feel, but this is not a Grateful Dead brand wine. Do they make wine? Doesn't matter. This says that the flavors are blackberries, cherries, chocolate, and ripe plums. So that right there, you're like, oh, cherries. Of course, Sherilyn gets a cherry wine. You know what? This was $8.79 at the Safeway. That is under the $10 budget with tax. I'm right about that $10 mark and things to know. I liked it. It was good. It was enjoyable. Um, the first sip has a light bit of flavor to it and it finishes really delicate on the palate. And I really enjoyed it. This would be a really fun gift to give. You guys, I like to give wine. To the, to the friends that I have that I know they drink wine, I like to give them wine and I like to give them something that I think they haven't had or tried or just to surprise them with. I think this would be a beautiful bottle to get as a gift because it has a beautiful label and then as for I'm gonna put it on handy dandy because then I'll tell you about this no I'm not a smoker okay so to finish my review of dearly beloved I liked it it's a red blend I would consider this it is not a traditional table wine but I think this is a great bottle to open up when you're having pastas chickens um, not a heavily peppercorn with blue cheese kind of steak, but if maybe you're doing like some steak carnitas and you don't want to have beer, have some Dearly Beloved. And the bottle is just beautiful. So that there is my review. If I had to either say thumbs up or thumbs down, which is kind of, you know how Netflix went from being able to give a star up one through five and then comment on it and they took that away because too many people spoke their mind and they didn't like it. And then you could do thumbs up and thumbs down and now they completely took that away. Well, if I had to give Dearly Beloved either a thumbs up or a thumbs down, I definitely say it is a thumbs up for me. And I don't know if I'm going to just go out to the store specifically to buy that, but if I saw it, I would get it. So you just might like it too. Find it at Safeway for sure. And maybe at your Total Wines. I don't think I have ever seen that bottle at the Walmart and I'm going to be at the Walmart soon. So I'll definitely take another look. Oh, what this is. I want to talk to you about it before somebody's like, Oh, you got that nicotine patch on. No, I don't. Uh, I have what is considered a repetitive stress injury. I have been so blessed. I mean, so blessed. I am so thankful, grateful, humbled that I have had so many amazing film projects, music video projects, uh, experimental video projects, and advertising social media videos to edit. I have been editing a lot. 
I have found myself, and yes, this has hurt for a long time. So my word to you is once you start to notice the pain, please get it checked out. Go to your doctor. Um, even if it's going to cost you a little bit, you got to go because this has actually been hurting for a while. I'm going to say a solid month that this has really bothered me. But even further than that, like two months ago, I noticed that all of the neck area is so tight. Oh, the shoulder, so tight. This area down under here, my fat roll in the clavicle area hurt. And then of course, right here, cause I'm right-handed, I've got my hand on the mouse and I'm flexed cause I'm editing. So all of this muscle is tight, tight across here, tight up here. My doctor was telling me the entire arm is a system and I need to treat the entire arm. I need to give you eight cortisone injections. I flipped my wig and, um, he talked me down from the ledge and he says, well, we can do one shot and split it in half. And that's what we did at the two most severest points. I am not a doctor. My doctor is, and I just need to tell him he is right that yes, the cortisone shot helps. Oh, I didn't have any mobility in it for a few days because it hurts so bad. And I've had to back off of work of editing so that this can heal a little bit. And then now the little baby injections of cortisone, I feel like, okay, I am ready to go back in two weeks and do all eight injection, full injections. And then I'm just going to put it in a sling and take the weekend off. I don't know, do something fun, I guess. <laughs> Anyhow, um, that's what this is. If you see that, this is actually the injection site and, um, I can be a big baby and I don't want to rip it off. It's a band aid. <laughs> So that's the truth. I said I have a glass of wine, huh? Because this hurts so bad. It's cortisone in the muscle. And I did get a high dosage of ibuprofen. And um, I was telling him, I really need a muscle relaxer. But we'll see about that. So anyhow, this is healing. This, I got handy tandy right here. This right here is a good wine. I think if you had a chance to buy it, you'd like it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have a great $10 wine and something maybe I can get from the Walmart, you gotta know red is my brand. I like reds, Malbecs, Merlots, Cab Savs, blends. Pinot Noirs on occasion. If you ever see me like just sitting around drinking white wine, you know I've been kidnapped and I'm crying out for help. Okay. That's enough for today. Hey, you guys, uh, let me know in the comments if you have a suggestion for me. I'd love to try what you recommend. And in other news, hey, I'm Cheryl Lynn. This is Makeup University. And remember, you look really gorgeous today.